For this video, we're gonna go Chrome. Now, just like always, you wanna go to File, New, in here, set it to 1280 times 720, 300 resolution, RGB color, 8-bit, transparent, and then go ahead and press Create. Get yourself the bucket tool, and then pick a color. Once you've got yourself the color, press OK, and then left click on the screen. Go back to the color, and then set this one to a white color. You wanna go over to the text tool, left click, and then drag it out, and then type in your text. The font that I'm using is called Bebas. If you'd like to download this, there'll be a link in the description. And then I've set it to 72 for the size. Drag the corners in, go to the first tool, press Ctrl and A or Command and A, and then center your text. Press Ctrl and D to deselect it. And then you want to right click on your text layer and go over to the blending options. You wanna get yourself a bevel and emboss, a contour, a stroke. You wanna press plus on the stroke so you get yourself another one. And then you wanna get yourself a inner shadow, inner glow, satin, gradient overlay, and a drop shadow. For the first one, you wanna start off with this one. Set this one to inner bevel, smooth, set the size to 490, put the size on 18, put the softness to seven, make sure it's on up, leave it on 90, 30, and then go over to the gloss contour and then set it to this one right here. Left click off of it, Go over to the highlight mode and then set this one to linear dodge add and then put it all the way up to 100. For the shadow mode, you wanna go over to the one that will say linear light and then set this one to 59. Next up, you wanna go over to the contour and then set this one to this one right here and then set the opacity to 81. Now you need to make sure that the top one is the one with the gradient. So for this one, you set the size to two, you set it on the outside, have it on normal, 100% opacity, and then go over to the fill type and set this one to a gradient. You want to click on the gradient and then you want to click on the first color, click on the middle bit right here, and then set this one to 76 and then press okay. Once you've got yourself the gradient, you want to set the scale to 41. And then we'll move on to the next one, which is the second stroke. For the second stroke, this one is going to be five pixels. Keep it on outside, normal, 100%, and then leave it on a black plain color. Next up, we're gonna go over to the inner shadow and then you wanna set this one to linear light. Set the opacity to 90. And then you want to untick the global light and then set this one to minus 129. Set the distance to nine, leave it on zero for the choke and then put it to three for the size. You wanna go over to the inner glow and then in the inner glow, you wanna set this one to litten set the opacity to 100%, leave the noise on zero, leave it on a plain color, and then you want to change the size to 30, leave everything as normal. Moving on to satin. For this one, you want to set the mode to normal, keep it on a plain black color, set the opacity to 69, and then the angle to minus 135. You want to change the distance to 40, and then put the size to 60. And then you also want to go over to the contour, select this one right here, and then left click off of it. Moving on to the next one, the gradient overlay, you want to set this one to hard light. Keep it on 100% for the opacity, click on the gradient, and then you want to get yourself the first color. And the first color will be three, 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 and then another two threes. Press okay. You want to click in the middle to get yourself a third color, and for the third color, you wanna set this one to 76, 76, 76. Press okay. Set the location to 56. And then finally, for the last one, you want to get yourself a color of C4, C4, and then C4. And then press okay. And then press okay again. And then finally, go over to the drop shadow. And then in here, we're gonna set this one to 81. Set it to normal. Untake the global light and then have the angle on 108. Distance on one, spread on zero, and then size on 12. And then you want to change the contour to this one right here. And that is pretty much it. If you wanted to, you can click on new style and then give it a name and then you can save it. So next time you use it, you could just easily drag and drop it to your text. And this can save you some time.